the, the revenue we make? Should we go zero fees on Luna? Um, so it's not clear what exactly that proposal is. Um, uh, it just says the community support anybody burning 1.2% of their own Luna. Great. Um, so should we just burn all of our users Luna? Mm -hmm. if we, if we, I think if you take a pool of asking specific users if they're willing to burn 1.2% of their Luna they hold, most people will probably say no. Right, right. Um, so I'm not sure what that means exactly. So um, I, I did ask our team, So, but we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I think as, as long as there's a, a common consistent way, a fair way that applies to everybody, we're more than happy to support whatever the, the community agrees on. Amazing. What an amazing insight from CZ. And from now, we're going to start explaining what that clip means. So obviously it's shown that Binance are ready to go for proposal 3568, which was the 1.2 tax and burn. But he was saying he didn't seem to understand it. And this is a tweet from Happy Catty Crypto. And he is one of the best sources for the whole of the Terra Luna community in understanding what is going on with it. But as you can see by this graph that he's currently providing, I've already retweeted that the users, for example, Luna C, it's not what he thinks. It's not everyone in it is going to burn it. It's obviously going to be an ongoing process as people start to transact it. And then all of that money is moved to a separate burn wallet and then it's ongoing. And I, hope, I think this is the best way of clearing up what is going on with the whole of the Luna project. And as I say, he gives out lots of very helpful tweets. They've got their own burn channel, which is another great insight to what is going on. And as you can see, and I've been updating you in previous videos in the past, what's going on with the Luna Classic token. And that is roughly around 2.5 trillion Luna at the time of recording, which is massive. And it's done extremely really well. And it's continuing to build all the time. So what are they going to do with all of that holdings? On top of that, a burn update is going up literally like 10 million tokens every single day. So at some point, it's going to be extremely high. And obviously with the news coming out from Binance, this is going to be a big, big push for the future. And the final update is just on the price. As you can see, all this news is really, really positive for the price. And this continues to build all the time. So if you enjoyed this type of thing, please drop a like and I'll see you in the next one.